fantastic. All right. Good luck and to everyone. We're off. We're off. Here we go. Minus nine hours and 39 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. There we go. There, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, I believe this is the same Elliot that placed in Roll for the North. Yep. Yes, it uh, is. Elliot has played in a lot of online tournaments, and he's done very well. And uh, he usually plays uh, uh, his uh, Deadpool, but he's... he's yeah, he's, he's deviated from it, and he started... It, uh, his round one purchase there was uh, Black Widow, so... That was and Stuart. That was Stuart. Yeah. Uh, yep. Sorry, you were... I get and these Jimmy? cameras confused early on. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll just shut up for a little bit and get the background stuff working. You guys deal with the commentary. <laughs> Jimmy, I think you're you're not muted in the in the Hangouts chat. I'm but now muted in the Hangouts chat. All right, All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So turn one, this might be a god catcher for Elliot. Um, he doesn't have anything to prep it over, but it doesn't mean it's a bad move. So no, because he always has turn two and be able to reset his bag the way he needs it if need be. Yeah. Well, he has a prep now, so if he wants to do that. That classic move, Becky Lynch. Yep. Okay. Catcher. Catcher. There it is. Okay, cool. And how about that mat on the Stewart? <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's a really cool Batman mat. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. And... Dark He's looking right at that uh, Black Widow die. Yeah. Better place. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's... go ahead. I was gonna say Stuart is running the Black Widow rare with the Energize that spins a target character die down one level, mm -hmm. and if it's already at level one, you get to spin into an energy phase. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a funny design because it's really inspired by like, hey, this is a powerful effect of how people wanted to play things wrong during EVX. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Level three Black Widow. So that is a two three Black Widow. Atlantis Global. Atlantis Global to prep and build. Do you swing with that Black Widow? Because. Mm. Uh, yep. Yep. Good call, Rob. Yeah, I mean, it's an energize effect on that die. You kind of want it going through your bag or getting knocked out. Yep. No way I can just keep on rolling it. Yep. To Elliot? Pulling out the four. It's in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you drop it? He does drop dice every now and then. So, um, so Elliot's going for a, has his team has Becky Lynch on there on his team, and uh, Thor. And God, catch he pretty much just put the, the main win cons in uh in modern right now on his team. So that's I I kind of get it though, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> Becky and God, and Thor both have wonderful globals to support Godcatcher, and like if you happen to have a dead card on your team for some games, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean I just like the fact that there's three pivots on the team, and the rest is just control for the most part. Extra one yeah, no, that's cool. It looks like uh, Elliot has misplaced his eighth sidekick die. <laughs> um, so Jimmy, uh, do you get input on the design of the cards at all? I don't, I don't know if you can say um, that, a, but... a little bit because I'm helping like coordinate what information comes in from playtests and kind of what's what's going on with the the community a little bit. So it's kind of I'm I'm not as interested in like what does a card do as I am what does the metagame feel like? And mm -hmm. so I like I, I know there's been a lot of community conversations lately about um whether or not things are healthy right now because the three different win conditions are really strong win conditions. Yeah. And like I actually think that this is a big success because when you look at the different <clears throat> styles of play the game has had 
we've really seen an evolution and big changes. Hmm. So the fact that these teams are revolving around attacking with big attackers is something we really haven't seen as a viable Dice Masters win condition outside of like fix it teams and weapon 10 teams. So uh, that's that's kind of my design involvement level. Awesome. Yeah, those are some of my favorite teams too, getting them big punches in. I love them, especially Mr. Fix It. Even though I didn't do well last year at, at Worlds, I that's what I brought. Yeah. And uh, I got annihilated, but you know what? I loved it. <laughs> I mean, and, and that's one of the, the neat things too, right? Is that there ends up being such a big card pool at certain points and so many different win conditions that if you kind of just pick the thing that no one's prepared for, you can go just completely nuts on people. But like if Kang Global shows up, if the old uh, Mera Global shows up, like Fix It could have a problem now, even when you have, you know, the Doom Cal Global and other like really nutty stuff going in your favor. Yep. Elliot fields two sidekicks and fields the uh, guide catcher. Ooh, he didn't get a good mix of energy there. Yeah. No, he's not. He's going to end up holding onto that bolt and shield, I believe. And there's no energy fixer on the team, also on either team, so. Um, oh, we're going to go ahead and buy an Atlantis. That's not a bad purchase. Um, yeah, one thing that I really like about uh, Fix It is the Uncommon. That's the one I liked. <laughs> it was kind of really janky and fun. I liked that one. Um, and. Stuart draws the Black Widow again. Nice. Cycle that dice through. If anything, There's Stuart is good at drawing Black Widows. Um, the science shows it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm checking with our uh, officials. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, comes up the character face again. Ooh. That's rough. Is Rob rolling here? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, if I was to play energized characters, I would always roll them on characters. And if I was playing regulars, I would always get them on their energy, energized face, <laughs> double energy or single. I, no, Rob, let's right. be honest. With an energized character, it would never get anything other than single energy for you. You're right. Uh, and, You're right. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> and by, by the way, uh, it, Elliot has two damage against him, so he's at 18, Ryan. Uh, yeah, Elliot's at 18 because Stuart swung through with that Black Widow earlier. All right, uh, Stuart's holding on to Black Widow. Uh, she's on her level two side. Um, yeah, sorry, I was fixed. Uh, we had an issue with one of the uh, hangout rooms pointing, uh, two of the stations pointing to the same hangout room, so I was correcting that. So. That's awesome. Well, yeah, that's not something you want, really. <laughs> So luckily, it was uh, one of the rooms had Shadow Meld in it, so he quickly just pivoted to a Dice Coalition game room nice. and notified me. So Ross says that Black Widow is the true MVP of IG. Uh, I think it's the unsung hero of it. it it's that sleeper hit out of it. You know, um, Every, everyone mm -hmm. was talking about the you know rare Spider Man yes. or the super rare Thor or uh, Typhoid Mary. Not many people beforehand were really talking about that Black Widow, but she's been showing up more and more and more on these teams mm -hmm. and doing the work. Yeah, you know. I think she has a great interface with a lot of the the strong strategies. Right, you're gonna yeah. get to take advantage of her being a mask with Clayface. Um, you're gonna be able to use her as energy for that Green Lantern that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. um, just and I and I think it's neat that there's the the energize and like the the stored energy uh interface yeah and elliot uh becky lynch to over danny moonstar for his next turn yeah i mean the fact that she's doing work for you on five out of the six faces yeah you know... oh it's crazy efficient <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. there's so much value there i've only seen her on her single energy face <laughs> well there's an oscar <laughs> uh, me personally um although <laughs> With Black Widow, I am partial to the uncommon. I I, I think um, she's pretty cool. Oscar on level one. Yeah, I do right, like some mask characters are now uh, one cheaper. Becky Lynch global. Um, I do like how um there's multiple rarities in each Mary. by each of the characters that are useful oh, or okay. somewhat useful depending on the type of team that you're uh, building. There's not going to be one that's all in a way that you always use it no matter what. Mm -hmm. 
because there's there's variants in there that you can use depending on your team build. Oh yeah, it it makes for some really tough choices. Yeah. Real Sophie's choice, if you will. <laughs> Um, so I really am a fan of, of like <clears throat> IG and just seeing some of the spoilers for Dark Phoenix, how not all of oh. like the rares and super rares are super OP. Like some of the commons and uncommons have really great abilities. Oh yeah. And I think that's awesome because obviously those are easier for people to get out of blind product. Yeah. So I think that that's a really, really good decision on y'all's part, Jimmy, on WizKid's part, um, to make the game fun for everyone and collectible. Thanks. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that you're going to find the best strategies somewhere have a super rare, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. that's not a total deal breaker because you can still have a, a totally viable team, a fun team yeah. with uh, something that's you no, know, not, you know, six or eight super rares. Yeah. <laughs> and usually a team that is all six, eight super rares is probably not a good team. <laughs> right and that's like it's just a big coincidence though right yeah so it comes to mind is it's like i'm running all black lanterns <laughs> oh yeah that's so hard to pull off <laughs> <laughs> but becky lynch made Ninerland is quote unquote the super rare of her of her character in the wwe set correct um, well, oh I, I, I would i would say so okay yeah. she's just so busted <laughs> so... she's so good man she's yeah, so good totally if I was playing in Golden, I would put her on there with my Green Devil Mask team. Oh, definitely. Oh. And just have make everyone cry. See, I don't know. I still think a Godcatcher uh, Green Devil Mask team would be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Well, Godcatcher would be on there, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Godcatcher, Becky, Green Devil Mask. So when... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy the Green Devil Mask is gone right now because it, uh, it makes more teams interesting yeah and, and, and talking about Green Devil baby. Mask forced a direct damage meta yeah. because you yes. couldn't build up the walls anymore exactly mm -hmm. uh, you know and so we needed to get rid of green devil mask so we could get back to a well, direct damage but, you know. like ironically i think the intent was the other way right like hey if right. my opponent can't build up a wall that means that i'll be able to oh, hit them with attackers two damage right on stewart okay. how much Two, two damage to Stuart. Um, Danny Moonstar, she's blocked. She goes back to the field. You might one, want to one step of his characters survived. Oh, one of his characters? No, neither yeah. one of them survived. No, they did because he, uh, only one of them came back as, uh, what's it called? Energy. One of them survived, so it blocked and KO'd Danny Moonstar. Okay, so it's only one damage to Stuart. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's still two, isn't it? It's Is it two one for each one that gets KO'd. That okay, way. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we the reason we had an issue last uh, last night where they played Danny <clears throat> wrong, so that's why we we're a little uh, cautious on it this yeah. morning. Oh, that ma makes sense. Yeah, once blocked, always blocked thing. Um, but yeah, it's, I liked Green Devil Mask with uh, Mister Fix It, so like it was good stuff. I and monster. <laughs> <laughs> I just I really think in a a Green Devil Mask uh, God Catcher team would would be an interesting because it moves away from that direct damage meta mm -hmm. to you still have the big attacker big blocker and mm -hmm. trying to keep your field small mm -hmm. you know so i just i think that would be a fun fun little team to play uh i don't think it would be tier one competitive but it would Probably i not. think it would still be fun i mean has anybody put in, putting reps in a golden age or not really um there there, there's some that we have a golden age, golden age event uh tomorrow evening and okay so we'll we'll see what's going on there uh we haven't gotten a lot of team submissions for it yet so i know what i'm running i just haven't submitted it yet yeah we've, <laughs> we've heard what mike has been saying and we're like we're you're such a degenerate jesus <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know about that but <laughs> so danny moonstar got blinked there with the uh typhoid mary i believe Oh, what did what did Typhoid Mary pick? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Danny Moonstar. I okay, believe that's makes, makes a lot of sense. Character he purchased so far. Black Widow's yeah. attacking. On our two side. And you. 
to. All right. I think one of the neat things too about uh, effects like Energize is it's motivating like an attack pattern we saw there that you wouldn't have otherwise. Yes. And I'm all for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, because normally it's, a, you know, if it's a well active, of course, you don't want to attack with it unless you know you're going to keep it. If it's a when fielded, you, you want to attack with it to know that it's going to get KO'd to try to cycle it. Energize fits a little bit more on that when fielded mindset. You mm -hmm. want that, you want to keep rolling that die as much as possible to try to trigger that effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. It's one less wall piece as well. Um, is that kind of, was that the intent? Jimmy, do you know with, with the with that ability to try to get so the game Energize going a is faster? actually intended to uh, let people opt out of unfun moments. So yeah. it's a little unfun to just roll your dice and not get characters. Yeah. Right. And so this way you're you get something, even if it's not a character. But we've even seen like some of the energize effects um have a way to let you get to the character, right? Like the one She Hulk. Let you let you get to the character face. Um, I think uh, did did uh, DM North spoil the Wolverine set or no? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they they did during okay. their quiz show. Yeah, so so uh, that that's another example of getting to get some characters out of your energy, which is which is neat. Okay. You bought Booker T. Yep. Okay. Prepped it over, and did all that stuff. Prepped it with uh, Becky Lynch there. And reduced it with Thor. Nice. One of the things I think we're really happy with when you look at WWE, even outside of Becky Lynch, is that if you're someone who was just interested in you know, wrestling and, and that culture, and you try it out, and then you think, okay, I'm going to go play online. I'll play at my local store if it's safe where you live. Um, it's neat that you're not just going to get blown out of the water by the guys who have done everything. Right. Yes. Uh, just real fast, everyone. We have our first report. Benzino Scott defeating Shadow Meld. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Good job, Benzino. And wow. Patrick is slipping. No. <laughs> no. Shots fired. <laughs> but Benzino's one heck of a player too. Oh no, for yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. I, I, I see him see him doing well in, in some of the results that I've peeked in on. Yeah. Alright. Is it Spider-Man time? There? I think it may be Spider uh Speederman. <laughs> the only thing is you want to oh, be able Spider -Man's to Spider-Man's a fist, fist. never mind he can't. Yeah. yeah. And plus you want to be able to prep him right away to just No, nope. nope. goes for the poison ivy. That's, yep. that's a good call. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think he needs the Spider-Man right now because he's got the Danny Moonstar on lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. Benzino, is that Shadow Meld's account of the situation or is that truly what happened? Because a lot of times he just gets out rolled and just a uh, purchase order is a little bit out of order for him sometimes. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but if it, <laughs> if it really was bad luck and bad draw, that sucks. But good luck. Uh, good thing for you, though. I mean... You're a good player. You you deserve that win if you got the win. So, and it's always yeah, nice to even start when the someone day gets unlucky, you have to yes. be good enough to capitalize on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's true. It's very true. I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't that, capitalize. That, that's why on I'm lowercase. sitting over here and not on. You know, you guys aren't seeing me on screen. You know, <laughs> I mean, the, the prep work to be in this room is much less <laughs> than to be uh, competing. Like. It's a it's a very different level of prep work to be on this side of it. Oh, so. oh I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm in the, the 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 best situation, which is I get paid to prep by just doing stuff for work, and then I come in knowing things. <laughs> yep, it's awesome. Yeah, you you kind of get paid to you know to do all this. We we do it as a hobby out of our enjoyment and love for the game. Yeah, so. no, I, I mean that's that's great. I I really do suspect if, um, you know, AVX had come out 
and I had been someone still like going to my local game store as much as I was going before I was working at WizKids, I would have been a Dice Masters player. I don't know how long it would have lasted because of like community things and stuff like that, but like I would have been playing this game. Yeah. I was somebody who enjoyed the old versus system, and I think mm -hmm. that uh, this this is whether that community has realized it or not. I think it's the best like replacement game for that. That's awesome. Um, it looks like Elliot fielded Danny Moonstar in level one, used Atlantis Global or the Atlantis action to move his Godcatcher and Booker T over to his prep area. Now, Atlantis, uh, the action itself, move any number of dice you roll during your roll and reroll step from your reserve pool to your prep area. Uh -huh. And since he had the uh, the burst on there, he gets a prep a die from his bag. It's nifty. Yep. So he's got a good. Looking at a good turn for a turn. strike next turn. Okay, he's gonna sure. attack and probably. Sure. Pack one there and walk. Yeah. So he's he's sporting one of the uh, really cool uh, Earthx Origins token dice there. So nice. solid choice. I still have a whole lot of those dice. I need to get into Arch's hands. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a, a version of those uh, for winners of this event as well. Nice. They will. They won't be the clear ones with the uh, Infinity Gauntlet colors. They will be uh, game room colored. So. <laughs> nice. They won't be driving you nuts trying to buff them out because they're clear. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I almost ended up having to get sold, uh, shoulder surgery from that one. So. Oh goodness. <laughs> People, you don't realize that Ryan went through a lot of effort on those because totally. those aren't machine done. Those, those are Ryan done. <laughs> oh <laughs> gosh, that, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Well, and th because they're clear, uh, there's a set of them that I've polished, uh, hand polished up to 12,000 grit so that they are crystal clear. Yeah. And that, oh, uh, wow. That <clears throat> takes a while for, you know, doing that for six sides on multiple dice. And then each side is painted a different color. So, you know, slow process there. I had to, you know, uh, rope my son into helping on those. I, I don't know if any of... I, I don't know the last time we published a game with six individually painted sides on a die. A die like, yeah, you, you don't. Common. Just let me tell you, don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as the as the kids say, Ryan was mean extra. So. He was plus ultra. <laughs> All right, so we've had a couple of reports come in here. Rapid fire. We have Yort over CCM. We have Jordo over Epicat. What? We have Someone Peter check the VDV record on that one. over Spug <laughs> um, and Mr. McCat over Raw Travel. Can someone go pe uh, go back and check the Twitch VOD to make sure Jordo didn't cheat? Because he shouldn't be getting wins. <laughs> 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 oh, Clayface. There we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot Clayface is on this team. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that Clayface global. And uh, Jimmy, uh, Shadow Mel did agree with you um, that this replaces the old versus better than the new versus system. Villainous Pact. Villainous Pact. And then I will pass you priority. Um, of course, your um, pack one man to attack. The next turn could be explosive. What's up? What's up? All right, he forced uh. The Typhoid Mary to attack, which is a four five. I would take that all day long. Yeah. So yep. Ellie is taking four damage here, so he's down to fourteen. Well, that's it, unless Stewart pulls it back with Static Field. He Static Field. Yeah, but back. he's going to Static Field it back, and then it's going to get forced to block or something next turn, and it's yep. it's going away. Yeah, and I think that's why Elliot did that to force him to burn that energy mm -hmm. this yeah. turn rather than on his turn. That's right. Plus, he has Booker T action coming up. So yep. he's going to choose how things are done. Oh, he's got a lot of surprises. Yeah, because if if he waits, there's a, there's a, like a longer opportunity to like use Clayface and get another energy and, and all that. Elliot is literally going to have every die he owns uh, mm -hmm. and purchased on the board right now. What bag? Get out of here, bag. They don't need no bag. 
Yeah. Where we're going, we don't need bags. Those are just dice you're not using. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, he... uh, Elliot really needs... Elliot kind of needs everything to come up. Yeah. He doesn't need nefarious broadcast anymore. He needs that Booker T. He needs a God catcher. Yeah. I mean, you keep the nefarious broadcast in case Godcatcher comes up and uh, Booker T doesn't come up. That's that's something you do do. You do 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 right. do do. do. Did right. you get it? Oh, I mean, you got it! Wow, <laughs> nice. That's that's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you quickly filled all of it and go <laughs> go to attacks. That's what you do. Right there. <laughs> I think that. Might be game. Oh, that was a side kick. What? What's he got to remove the blockers? He's got Booker T to assign blockers how he wants. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll. Yeah, he can assign the blockers however he wants, so yep. that's game. And and having having the five sidekicks to attack with is very yeah, thematic for Booker T. Yeah. <laughs> Extra yeah. bonus points. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm just surprised you guys didn't you know like put a spin a rooney or something like that for him. Yeah. <laughs> five yep. times. Five game. times. That, Elliot time. takes it. <laughs> That's going to wrap things up for us here in the CR Game Room. Check out our website, crgr.rocks, for all our latest info. There you'll find a link to help support us via Patreon. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join our conversations on Discord. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for hanging out. Bye.